Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning watcher. Um, if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell to get a notified every time I post a new video. And follow all my social medias down in the description to, you know, so we can be locked in. And if you are an old subscriber and you are not in tune, get in tune so we can be locked in too. All right, so today's video, today's video is a girl talk. And in this video, we're going to talk about different topics that were addressed. Because I asked my Instagram to ask me um, topics they want me to speak about. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. How do I know when a guy likes me? How do I know when a guy likes me? It's just there. Like you just feel the energy. You could you can see the way that person looks at you. You can you know it's just all in the atmosphere of when it's you and him. So I just feel like that's how you know when a guy likes you and when he's showing you that he's putting forth the effort to um like make sure your relationship, friendship, or whatever stage y'all are in is striving. Uh, if he wanted to, he would. That's just the motto when going into how do you know when a guy likes me. If he wanted to, he would. Raise your mother. Anyways, uh, you just know. Like, you, you just know. You just know. Because <laughs> it's the things he does is the thing he does to like make you like wow nobody's ever done that for me before you know just just top tier stuff standards slash expectations first of all raise them standards higher than your motherfucking heels raise those standards when it comes to relationships um and keep your expectations at like a I'm looking forward at like a leveled pace, you know, like balance. Keep them, keep them expectations balanced because don't ever think nobody will do you like that, you know. Cause, baby, <laughs> it happened, you know. It's just life. Like you can't go into life thinking, oh, this person not gonna do me like that because they will. I mean, not everybody, but but don't put it past them, you know. It's just, it's just the way, it's just the way things are. Yeah, raise your standards, don't settle, because you get to settling, they get to feeling like they can handle you however they want to handle you. So keep them standards high, baby. Keep them high. Okay, relationship advice. That's that's all people was talking about here. Relationships advice. Uh, relationship advice. Let me just give y'all three beautiful relationship advice coming from my knowledge when, when it comes down to relationships he wanted to he would if he wanted to he would if she wanted to he would if he wanted to call you he would call you if he wanted to spoil you he would spoil you if he would wanted to take you out he would want to take you out you know if he wanted to he would that's that's the first relationship advice Second relationship advice would be communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. You want to make sure your partner is always um, understanding your perspective. And you want to make sure it's being communicated effectively by you understanding their perspective. I'm in class editing and I wanted to say you're not also communicating to respond. You're communicating to understand. That's what I wanted to get out of that video, but I can't because y'all are two different people y'all are two different mindsets um y'all are going to disagree and agree with things so communicating it through and balancing that out is is the way to go last one huh yeah I already said that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you guys are making time for each other. Time is very sacred. 
you know, you just always want to spend time with your partner. Whether that's time for you guys to get on the phone at night and close your day off, end your day off together. You know, just making time for each other that is hecka important. So, yeah, that is my relationship advice to you guys. Next topic I think I didn't address. I don't know if I did. Uh, toxic relationships. Toxic relationships. What do you say about toxic relationships? Get out of it. Go, 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 go. Because it's not, it's not worth the suffrage and your mental health being drained. Like if that person love you for real, for real, like they say they love you, they're not gonna put you through those type of situations. So you get out. It's it, another man's trash is another man's treasure. Vice versa, another woman's trash is another woman's treasure. So, next topic we're gonna talk about is friends. Ooh. Friends, friends, friends. Losing friends. Um, losing friends are hard. I feel like in a way, losing friends is like kind of worse than a freaking breakup because you and that friend y'all talked about, <laughs> you know, living it up forever together. So, losing friends is just like. It, it like really hit the spot like it's like damn damn you know like i don't even know how i don't even have much to say about losing friends just it all depends how it fell out if it fell out smoothly and you know it wasn't messy and i feel like maybe y'all could one day rekindle one day build that friendship back up. But if it was messy, if it was ghetto, if it was everything you didn't want it to be, then they gotta go. They gotta go, you gotta move on. Life goes on, so that's just like what that is like. But losing friends can take a, a, a hell of a lot on your mental because let's say that's that person you talk to every day at school. like. When you get to school, who are you talking to? Like, it, it, it just, it's just not the same, it won't feel the same. So it can really like take a lot on your mental, so. Just make sure you do what you do when a breakup happens with the relationship. Like, start doing stuff that make you feel good. Start, you know, going out more and finding yourself in a way, you know? Going out more for you, if that makes sense. Like. Going out to, not going out to party type stuff. That's not what I mean. I mean like going out, mm, get your nails done, hair done. Stuff that'll make you feel good, you know? Toxic relationships, we addressed that. Now we're gonna go with toxic friendships. Mm, toxic friendships. Toxic friendships are bad because it's like, that's supposed to be your friend. They're, here they are like just in competition and hating. It's just like, damn, like we supposed to be friends. We supposed to be congratulating each other. We supposed to, uh, like we supposed to, we supposed to be there. And why are we in competition? Why is there sneak dissing on the low? Like, why is there a passive aggressiveness? Like, it's just like, that. that's just not it. Like. Find you some good friends who gonna support you, and 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 this is a big red flag in toxic friends when they say, oh, uh, what they say, your little boyfriend or 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 little metal. You know, you know when they try to like belittle your accomplishments. Like that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, no baby, big metal, big boyfriend. Like, come on. So those type of friends, it's just like red flags. Like, mm. stay away, stay away. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> having, ha having secret, uh, having secret animosity. That's also ties into like friendships in a way. Uh, baby, no, that's that's just not the way to go. Like I said, cause that is just like so toxic draining like they here to bring you down that's not what you're looking for in a friendship but yeah secret animosity is just like very weird behavior like that's just like you supposed to be my friend and here you are talking to big 
all behind my back, like chill, bro. You know, it's just like, damn. 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 But yeah, stay away from the friends with the secret immunosity because, you know, that follows you. Like, that, if you keep that around you, it just, you just gonna feel like you never going to be where you wanna be. Cause that's not the friend you wanna have around you to be successful and happy and stuff. Uh, another friendship topic, girl code. Girl code. I feel like the biggest thing in girl code is messing with somebody ex or whatever. Like if you feel comfortable enough to like, like, oh my gosh. If you feel the need to ask me to fuck with somebody, then you shouldn't be fucking with them. Cause why are you asking me? Like, why are you here for my, um, okay to go fuck with somebody? Like, that's just weird. Like, that shouldn't be the case. If if you want to go fuck with somebody, go fuck with somebody. But if you come to ask me if you want to go fuck with somebody, that means you knew we me and this person had relations. So, it's just like, you got to stay away from those people. Because, baby, 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 baby. Baby, what's another big thing in girl code? I feel like another like big thing in girl code that I could like think about the top of my head is um let's say you all are all talking to this one person. Y'all were all talking to um Janice. It was you, Janice, Tracy, and Kathy. You, Janice, Tracy, and Kathy. Tracy is no longer cool with Janice. So that leaves you. Kathy in the middle. Now Kathy feels some type of, my camera had cut out. <laughs> now Kathy I feel some type of way that you're talking to um I don't know, that just puts you in a weird position as a person. Like like you didn't fall out with that person, the other person did, so like how is that in relation to you? As long as you know no shit talking and secret not animosity is going on with that person or not. The other person is not cool with then you're fine i i, I never like i had a big deal on that because it was just never that for me because if you was my friend like how you said you're my friend then you would make sure nothing is being said about me or good things are said about me another thing in girl code and i just feel like this is very generic like relationship girl code anything if somebody is here talking and you're sitting here kiki ha ha with them and you're not like defending me and but you come back to come tell me that oh so and so was talking but i can't tell you who so and so is you're you're just as wrong as them like that's just like that's just that's just what it is that is the secret now we're going to get into like random topics that like kind of don't fit in the category but they kind of do so we're gonna say personnel. This is like the personal category. We're gonna start off with finding your beauty. Uh, finding your beauty. To this day, I'm just trying to find. I'm still trying to find my beauty. Like it is, of course, days where I feel like I'm the baddest bitch in the south. And the other days, it's just like damn, you know. So. Things that can help you enhance your beauty so that you think you found it type of thing is dressing up, looking cute, not allowing people to give you compliments so you can feel good. Like you give yourself a compliment and you feel good about yourself because you know you're that So you're gonna like, oh yeah, I like, I'm messing with how I look today or whatever, despite what anybody else could think. So. I just feel like that's really big in finding your beauty. Uh, talk to yourself nice. Talk to talk to yourself nice. If you talk to yourself, I mean, if you encourage your friends and talk to your friends nice, why can't you do the same for yourself? Cause you're yourself, you're yourself friend. That, that don't even make sense. You're friends with yourself, so you're friends with yourself first. So that's what I'm not trying to say. You wouldn't have any friends if you talk to your friends the way you talk to yourself when you were feeling the best so talk to yourself nice that's big and funny feminine hygiene products 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never been so big on um like hygiene products because, baby, I can't afford it. Like if I if I if I if I can afford it, like like how I wish I could afford it. Like I buy little products here and there, but if I could afford it, how I wish I could afford it, then y'all will get a video on that one day. And I will afford it one day, so. That's not even the problem. But um products that I do use is what is it called? Dr. Teal's uh peppermint body wash. I use that. And the honey pot foam, I use that as well. And then scrubs. Scrubs are like incorporated into my shower routine now i like to feel smooth I, 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 I hate scaly feeling so i like to feel like glowy and smooth so getting real rid of dead skin um exfoliate exfoliate exfoliators play a part in that i guess so yeah that's what i really use in this shower um and dove sensitive soap Kind of my little short shower routine. But yeah, hygiene. Just keep yourself clean. Smell good. Feel good. I feel like when my hygiene is not up to part, like let's say a long day after school and I come home and I haven't taken a shower yet, I just, I just don't feel rejuvenated and refreshed. Like I just need to take a shower. So you want to make sure you smell good. You don't go to school 7.30 in the morning musty. That, that's it best places to shop um let's be real Shan. i don't care this whole outfit that i got on i'm gonna show y'all that whole outfit i got on is from Shan. like Shan is just a little too convenient for me and i don't know i don't feel like it's overrated either when it comes to stuff and, and quick things like this but Shane is getting a little pricey for me. So I just don't like that. Because you put like five items in a cart, it's already at $70. Anyways, um, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is also pretty good and convenient. Mm. If you want to get like party dresses and stuff, like formal party dresses and stuff like that, Wind Store. I love, I go to Wind Store. That's like my first option to go to if I'm looking for a dress up dress that looks nice um h&m i oh my gosh h&m i love h&m lately they've been stepping up their game and i just love them for that so yeah those are my like suggestions oh and i want to say brandy melville i love brandy but i just don't have the money for brandy like i bought 70 dollars jeans the jeans was just real nice so i had to i had to cop and i had a shirt also it was a uh it was one of those festivals and um I forgot what they're called. One of the festivals in California shirt. It was a cutout shirt. I can actually show y'all right now. La la. Shit, I don't remember. Anyways, yeah. But that whole thing all together was freaking 105. I left the shirt because, baby, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an 11th grader making $11 an hour and I won't work on weekends. But now I don't work at all. But that's not, that's not, that's not what we're talking about right now. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about for this video um, is directed to my beautiful black women, girls, whatever you guys wanna be called. Uh, colorism. Colorism within the black community is one of the topics I received uh colorism is big like especially with these men bro like it's just like wild the, the wild things they'll say like i can't fuck with you because i'm already dark and i don't need a dark baby or i'm already too dark for me to fuck with you or they make light skins like they they separate the light skins and the dark skins and they're gonna fuck with the light skin because they're light skin and not the dark skins they're dark skin. like baby just love yourself <laughs> love yourself because 
these men are full of sh you know what I mean? And that's a huge red flag. So get yourself out of that situation if you are in that situation. And when they used to do the smash and pads videos, I used to be like sick to my stomach. Cause like what? But uh, yeah, stay away from all of that. The, the men who who say things like that because that's just red flag, 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 red flag being thrown at you. So yeah. Is the end of this video guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i want you guys to follow my um vlog page i have a all jessica's vlog uh it's my youtube page basically where i post that i upload the video or ask questions and you know y'all can meet me on there if you your question if you want your questions to be asked in these type of sit down videos uh if you guys want me to do more sit down videos let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs let me know if you guys want to see pranks let me know i i i've done a prank like four years ago but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you see you guys next time